This is Matera. Be the situation looking over the edge of the canyon here. Is there a way down around here, or do I have to? Uh, oh man, definitely not a way down there. Whoa, and there is that uh, three windowed rock again. But how to get there? I can see trails down there. Perhaps there was a way down from the other side but uh, otherwise it looks like I'll be doing the hike that I did yesterday quite a ways down there and then having to backtrack look at that it's like Salvador Dali's stopwatch there the drooping clock as a saddle on a horse so what's the deal with that so i'm hoping that there might be a path going from whatever this building is here down that ridge in which case it isn't too steep and then from there it would be a intense uphill climb getting up there, but at least less distance to cover than going all the way back and then coming all the way back this way. Otherwise, I'm thinking this is probably too big of a mission for me to uh, tackle today, but uh, let's see the situation out here. So no way to get down here, obviously. That is one heck of a drop. You can see all kinds of trails on that hillside. So the uh, moment of truth up ahead here Hi. Hello. is, will there be a way to get down that uh, hill through this like construction zone here? I can hear the uh, machines. Here it's locked, like that looks like if you could get in there. Then you could get down the uh, trail perhaps, but uh, this is not looking good. Okay, there is a gap. I'm not jumping over any fences or anything. Where does this go? It goes to a window, which I could possibly crawl under if I was going to uh, start risking jail time, but I'm not. And I'm sure that I won't be getting down on the other side of this wall. Ooh. Maybe that's, oh, that is the path that I hiked yesterday. Okay, great. And then instead of going over to that uh, bridge where I crossed yesterday, you keep on going around that way. Boom. So yesterday I crossed that bridge there, hiked up to the top of that hill there, but today going this way. It's getting colder, windier, nobody else around, loving it.
So, is there a way across the creek? Looks like it. Here I can just rock hop. Or maybe there's a bridge. But uh, it's not looking like there's gonna be one right around here. Looks like it might be hopping over. The wind in the willows. Where to cross? I think that is the best spot. Made it. Now got to get up this hill. So that's where I was standing, on the edge of that wall right there, looking down into the canyon, looking across, trying to figure out how can I get there. Got here. It was just hailing, but I'm heating up, hiking up this hill. I think the caves are getting close. And there it is, the three windows. Looks like I'm going to make it. Look at this, guys. This is incredible. Not the most impressive cave dwelling I've ever seen, but to come across this just along this uh, hill with barely even a trail to get up here and it is just a absolute man-made cave with is that an altar or just a shelf somewhere to put a candle the scratchings carving it out another big shelf Obviously, this was the fireplace. Another little shelf thing there. And I guess the front door. Wow. Intense. When was the first chip into this block to create this cave? Oh man, and we got more. I haven't even gotten to the three window cave yet, which looks really amazing as well. Oh yes, we have frescoes. Look at this, it's a church. Oh my God. I was not expecting this. Here is the trail. You can see just in the middle of canyon craziness. Matera stretching for Miles. Almost nobody around. Down here, a big old cave. Hard to tell if that one is man-made. I'll have to uh, check that one out as well. And look at this. A uh, I guess this is a actual entrance. There's steps here, down into the church. Here we go. Must be Byzantine era. Byzantine Christian Greeks, very likely. These could be 
more than a thousand years old. 7th century, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, somewhere around there. I certainly could be wrong. Sad, all these horrible graffitiers ruining such phenomenal history, but at least something remains. Mary, baby Jesus, quite possibly Jesus there. Unbelievable to come across this. So I've been hanging out here for a little while, mesmerized by these paintings and this structure. It was snowing for a little while. That's uh, blown away. But the uh, temperature is definitely dropping. What a location for a church, for ancient ruins, for contemplation and journeying through history in your mind with an absolutely unbelievable view. More caves and ancient looking structures across there, something with a flat top and some big windows going into it, which you can definitely get up to as well. There's a path down there. I might have to go for it, but first I have yet to explore the three windowed cave. Let's go check that one out. I still just cannot believe what I found there. Obviously not the first person to discover it or anything, but uh, for something so historic to be just cast away here with certainly very few people actually finding this, there are no signs pointing in this direction. It is quite out of the way. I almost didn't even bother. I was thinking, well, okay, more caves, like the caves I saw yesterday. It's gonna be a lot of hassle to get over there. Wow, was it worth it. So let's go inside. The three windowed cave. Here you go. So there it is, one, two, three. With lots of shelves. A smoke hole, it looks like. But I'm sure that this cave predates this city. Probably whoever built this originally was looking out at just another canyon, series of cliffs. I'm sure that for the original inhabitants of this cave, that sort of a view would be this crazy futuristic, you know, just unreal vision looking forwards in time from however many thousands of years ago this was first built. Obviously not old paintings there. Little butterfly, a spiral, a person, some language I guess, Italian. And then uh, there is going to be a view on the other side. 
looking across at the other caves here, I guess. Yep. Look at that. Massive one. Must be a natural one there. The trail continuing along there. I was not planning on quite this big of an adventure today, but uh, I sure as heck do not regret stepping out the door today and putting one foot in front of the other. You never know what you're going to find when you head out your door. Frodo. So maybe that is kind of it for the caves on this uh, hill. Let's follow the path, see if it goes anywhere else interesting. It's going somewhere. Okay, so it's just another very steep canyon here, although there is sort of a trail. So do I continue down this way or go back the way that I came? Looks perfectly doable. Man, look at those. So before I was right up there, came down this hill, down into the valley, and then up there are the big caves. I think that I'm not going to uh, hike up to those ones. I don't think there's going to be any sort of paintings or anything like that. You can see there, pretty rough. It looks like it's probably just natural. So I'm going to uh, save my legs from hiking up the steep hill and instead get over here where that trail goes up. And I think those are going to be more interesting caves up there. So a quick retracing of my steps, since I can basically see everything from here. So I was on the road out there, went around the corner on the trail going down the other side of this ridge here, and then crossed the creek right down there, along that trail, other side of this ridge, came up it, found the church. Unfortunately, I forgot to go inside the cave right there, that looks like a pretty uh, interesting one under a kind of flat rock there. There might be a couple more right there that I missed. And then walked across the ridge, went in the three window cave out there, right on down that ridge to the bottom, about halfway or so up that hill, looking back at uh, the caves there, which do look like they would be pretty cool to be uh, standing inside, but. That hill is very steep, and then came down across the valley floor up here. Right there you can see proper steps. So I was looking across from there at caves on this hill. I'm not sure where they are, but they might be right underneath me. So let's go figure it out. All right, so what's around the corner? Nothing. Where are those caves? It looks like one there. A big one. I was certain that I was seeing caves right in this area, up uh, that path that I came up. So, where'd they go? Well, there are some out there on that cliff, totally inaccessible. Man, oh man, that is a very severe drop right there. Well, I think that I will just uh, walk down the path and see what I can see from there. So one little natural looking cave right there. 
It's been an incredible day of exploring. That church there was the highlight of this trip so far. It would be one thing if I'd, you know, followed signs to get to it and paid an entry fee and there was a ticket checker there and other tourists or whatever, then it would be cool, but not nearly the same sort of an experience as just unexpectedly coming across something like that. So more caves in uh, that cliff across there. There's what I was seeing. Farther away, on top of that cliff. I bet I could have gotten over there fairly easily from the top, but now it's an intense uphill climb to get back up there. I think I will just admire it from afar. And who knows? Maybe another time. So I had to go for it, guys. I was walking along the trail, looking up at the caves, and then looked again, and something was revealed. It was much more recent than caves. I don't see it yet, but let's find it. It must be very close. Look at that. However, I'm not sure that is the same building that I saw because there was a cross on top. I could see the cross from down there. So there might be another one. Lived in relatively recently, maybe until 1952, when everyone was kicked out of the caves and of the old city in general, and it was emptied out. But I think there's going to be something else. Whoa. Intense. Lots of blackened walls. So where is the cross that I saw? I knew I saw a cross. There you go. It looks like it's locked. Very, very locked.
Regina Virginium looks like Virgin Retina Virginia Virginum Oh wow, what a day. Another cave down under that rock. A deep one here. So, I have a decision to make. Which way to get back there? Around like that, across that path, and then across the bridge, or back the way that I came. I think I will go back this way. It was fairly quick coming up. It will be quick going down. Incredible. Matera, Italy. More coming from Italy. See ya.